Welcome to the Live Music Faucet on WSMU. This is your old pal Irwin here for Nick this evening, Irene Trudell at the console, and in the make-believe mosh pit, we have Matter Rose. They're a bunch of people from New York and Brooklyn. Mary Lorson, vocal and rhythm guitar, her new guitar. Matt Verderay on bass, Johnny Kick on drums, and Billy Cote making a whole lot of noise with lead guitar. So we're going to hear some numbers right now from Matter Rose.
Music Faucet on WFMU and East Orange. Let's hear another number and then we'll chat a bit. Thank you. 
Waiting for that sustained. Is it finished? Okay. Matter Rose on the live music faucet on WFMU. Pardon me if I sound kind of low key. I feel like it's Sunday after a 21 day weekend. But uh, even though I've got a headache and I'm hungover from that 21 day weekend, and your music's loud, it, it sounds <laughs> soothing to me. We've got Mary Lorson who's doing the singing and playing rhythm guitar, and wrote some of these songs too, right? Mm -hmm, yep. Okay. And Mary's from Brooklyn. Yep. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> you can speak in words of more than one syllable <laughs> if you'd like, or save them for later. We'll build up to it. As I get less scared. And there's, uh, there's Matt. Matt's on bass. Matt is from Brooklyn or Manhattan? Uh, Manhattan. Manhattan. The Lower East Side. Lower East Side, okay. And so is Billy, who's yeah. on lead guitar and doesn't sing. The only member of the band who doesn't sing. And you would thank me for that. Okay. And I can't see him, but I, mean, I know Johnny's back there. Hello. On drums, and, and he's singing as well. Yes, mm -hmm. sometimes. So the band has been together for how long? Standard question. About huh? a year and a half. I have to ask. I have to go through the standard questions first. Standard questions. Okay. Then, then we get to, like, your favorite film of 1992, oh. which of the three Stooges you identify with most, things like that. But <laughs> sure. first, later, later, later. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Okay, also, I have King Missile's press kit here. All right. Left it here. And I've been going through and culling adjectives and just crossing out King Missile and putting Matter Rose in, so we'll go through your <laughs> press kit later on in the program. As <laughs> soon as we get one. Now, um, that's it for the questions right now. <laughs> the important questions. The standard questions are out of the way. Let's go back to some music. And then I'll come up with some really stupid questions later on. Okay? Excellent. Matter Rose on WFMU on the live music closet. This is from our first single. It's on uh, Spontaneous Generation Records, and it's called Baby Gets High. Down the aisle Like 
Matter Rose, a four-piece ensemble here on WFMU in East Orange. We can, we can chat a little more. I have some stupid questions to ask you. Who wants to handle stupid questions? Do you have a spokesman who specifically handles stupid questions? I'll go first. <laughs> Are you all originally from, from New York, or did you migrate here from Kansas or anything? Uh, I'm France. Just, uh, we're all from all over the People place. People are going to believe everything that you say, so be careful. We're from England. <laughs> That's Paul. Where's George? Mm. We'll stop. British accent fest begins. <laughs> <laughs> I mostly came over here to America for the birds, didn't I? Mm-hmm. In England, it's too, cr- it's too bloody cold in England, isn't it? Is that, was that Ringo or George? <laughs> talking? Okay. I'm Johnny. I'm from Chicago originally. Uh huh. But I've been uh, in New York. I moved here all oh, back, way back in '79. To find a better life. Yes. Okay. Mary. I'm from the suburbs of New York, Westchester County. But mm-hmm. I lived in Boston for a while. Uh huh. Did you go to school up there? Kind of. I finished school there. And then I worked there, too, for a couple of years. And then. then you Hung went out and went to see a lot of bands and had a good time, uh-huh. <laughs> basically. And Matt? Uh, I'm, from, uh, I'm from Montreal, Canada. Really? Yeah. How about that? It's too cold. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> and Billy? I'm from New Jersey. I grew up in Somerville, New Jersey. You know where that is? And there's probably listeners out there in Somerville. Yeah. Still well, back Billy's there. Mom. Billy's mom. <laughs> My mom is. Yeah. Is she listening? Yeah, I think so. Hey, say hi to her. Go ahead. Hi, Ma. <laughs> hi, Mrs. Cote. <laughs> hi, Mrs. Cote. <laughs> He'll be coming home for dinner uh, pretty soon. And with three bags of laundry, probably. Bring in the band. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a band with with product too as a matter of fact you've got a couple of singles out yeah moving moving product is our game, the name of the game. <laughs> there's a new single here and and like the first single it has an out of focus photograph on the back cover <laughs> you're really into those out of focus photographs huh? seems it's the only check. kind we get yeah. no no well, that's on purpose well that's because you can't afford to pay the photographer <laughs> well, well i get a real photographer no, actually that was a beautiful photograph taken by uh it was Dan, t- Diane, yeah. Yeah, Billy's girlfriend, Dan Carpentier. I didn't say it wasn't a good photograph. <laughs> I just said it was out of focus. Watch That's it, Erwin. Right. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, our next single has a clear photograph on the back. Uh, it probably won't be as good, though. <laughs> this, is, this single is uh, Matter Rose, which is sort of your, your theme, right. which you'll be doing pretty soon, I'm sure. I don't think so, actually. We didn't, we didn't practice that one. No. We haven't played it in a while. Okay. And Lights Go Down, which... We just played. Which you just played. Mm-hmm. And your other single, this one's on Rockville. Right. And the previous single? That was on Spontaneous Generation. And the songs on that were? That was uh, Baby Gets High and um, Headshot. Headshot. Headshot, yeah. Both of which you did Yeah. Right. a few minutes ago. Mm-hmm. So I noticed in a lot of your song titles, you've got like uh, Baby Gets High, Lights Go Down, uh, Bring It Down, While Away. There's direction here. Yeah. Away, She's high, down. Downward, down. Direction, yes. So the band does have a direction. It's down. It's down. But there is a direction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Love a band with direction. Knows where they're going. Even if it's even if it's down, even if it's down. Okay. Well, coming up soon, we'll find out about your favorite films, favorite vegetables, methods of preparation, and your favorite stooge. <laughs> later, sure. but first, uh, why don't you do some more music? Okay. Matter Rose on the live music faucet here on WFMU. We're gonna do a song now called Daydream. Yeah. 
Here on the Live Music Faucet on WFMU, Mary Lorson, that's the voice, most, most of the voices, and uh, Matt on bass and some Vox as well, Johnny Kick on drums and his voice as well, and Billy Cote on the lead guitar. In addition to the uh, singles that you have out, we mentioned before, you also, I understand, also have a line of Matter Rose refrigerator magnets, <laughs> video games, the Billy Cote Wawa pedal, and what's this, the antlers? Matter Rose antlers? <laughs> uh, they're not antlers anymore. Now we have swimwear. Oh, swimwear? Yeah, swimwear. Okay. That, so that, and that should be available in the spring. Mm -hmm. The Matter Rose line of, of fashion swimwear. Sure. Terrific. I think that coincides with the album release. What's <laughs> what album? Oh, and there's an album, as a matter of fact. Sure. Yeah, we just uh, finished mastering it. Um, it's going to be out on Seed, which is a new label. And uh, it's coming out in March, I think. We need a new non-sexist reference. You say mastering, obviously, if you're referring to male sort of thing. So I think for 1993, <laughs> we're going to come up with, and you can't say mistressing the <laughs> album. But yeah, maybe... It's still very sexist. Sex you're re refining it. Dominatrixing. Okay. <laughs> Finishing it off. How's that? Although that sort of connotes that you're killing it. Well, anyway, <laughs> it's going to be out when? Uh, March? March, March, Early March. On the seed label, yeah. which is a division of WFMU. It's a division of Atlantic. Atlantic Records, mm -hmm. which is a division of WFMU. Right, we, exactly. we own Atlantic Part Records. Part of the, yeah. the WFMU group. Yeah. Of, the <laughs> of, entertainment of, conglomerate. Of affiliated <laughs> record labels. Yeah, we own them Spotify. all. Yeah. We have all those record labels in our pocket. Um, and a lot of the stuff you're doing today is, of course, going to be on that album. Yeah, yeah, Most a good deal of it. Sure. A good deal of it. Mm -hmm. Sounding more refined and mastered and mistressed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Okay. So let's just get to one of the stupid questions now, and then we'll get back to the music. Um, favorite vegetable, we'll just go around the band here, and method of preparing that particular vegetable. Think about this now, but don't take too much time. We have listeners out there who are waiting for answers. I'd have to say the, uh, the spaghetti squash and steamed. 
Now, that's, that's the sort of stringy yeah, that's yellow right. squash, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I recommend it, by the way, in pancakes. Really good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mary? Mary? Oh, mashed turnips, definitely. Yuck! Mashed turnips. <laughs> God. Yeah. A real iconoclast, aren't you? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Johnny? Uh, asparagus sauteed in garlic. Mm-hmm. Not that we're going to prepare any of this for anyone in the band. We're just curious. Oh, come on. Feast Everybody next time. Everybody wants for a reason. Only on your second appearance. We will have these vegetables <laughs> prepared for you. And Billy? Doesn't eat um, vegetables, right? Um, broccoli, raw. Raw broccoli, okay. Now some more music from Matter Rose, the band that obviously eats its vegetables. <laughs> WFMU East Orange. Wild Away. This song's called Wild Away.
Matter Rose and on WFN. Where are some of the places you played in the last year and where can people see you in the near future? Um, we play at places like the Space at Chase and um, sometimes at Seabees and uh, we've played at the Bank and we're playing at the Knitting Factory on January 27th. And Maxwell's? 28th. We've played Maxwell's a few times, a couple times. Yeah, that 28th gig at the Knitting Factory coming up, we're opening for Velocity Girl. 28th of uh, January. Oh, January, yeah. Uh -huh, okay. That's a cold gig, I think. You don't want to talk about the antlers, huh? No, I would rather not. Okay. So <laughs> people sort of see them on the shelves. And yeah, speak them. for themselves, I guess. Okay, you're not going to do Matter Rose. I can, uh, maybe I thought I'd play the single. You know, you can rest your fingers for a few minutes. Uh, That'd be cool. We can do a tune-up. Yeah. yeah, okay, let's, let's do that. Uh, so, since you're not going to do the song live anyway, we'll just play the single. Okay, great. This is the new Rockville single. It's the A-side, right? Uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Rose Matter is actually like a pigment, mm -hmm, right? Exactly, right. An artist's pigment. So you just sort of, someone in the group is dyslexic, and no, so the group is named Matter yeah. Rose. Simple as that. Okay, this is the, the A side of the new Matter Rose single. Then we'll be back with some more live music from Matter Rose on the live music faucet on WFMU. Mm. the A side of the new Matter Rose single. It's just called Matter Rose. It's on the Rockville label. We took a break and we flipped tapes and we tuned guitars and we blew our noses. 
collectively. Next week on the Live Music Faucet, Gary Lucas will be performing live from his living room, doing a remote next week. Uh, Gary Lucas, guitarist extraordinaire. And the following week, Jeff Buckley will be down here. He'll be down here, Jeff Buckley on the Live Music Faucet, on the 17th of January. Uh -oh.
You're enjoying Matter Rose on the live music faucet on WFMU. Coming up at 7.30, this week's Nick Hill, John Schnall, Transitional Moment. And then David Newgarden. Did, um, were you guys, like, in, in early school forced to play the trombone or anything? Yeah, I, I actually did play the trombone, no fooling, but I, I gave it up to uh, heavy... So you still can play the trombone. Yeah, technically, yeah. And perhaps on some future Matter Rose recording, we will get to hear your trombone skills. Well, I played. Uh, I actually played saxophone on a uh, on a Matter Rose uh, song. It's going to be on uh, an Ernest Br Noise Brookings compilation. Oh, which one, number four? Uh, number four, yeah. Wow. On a song called Eiffel Tower. Oh, great. But it's very Ornette Coleman influenced. So yeah, there's a whole series of those records. The uh, poems of Ernest Noyes Brookings, who was a resident of the Duplex Nursing Home up in Massachusetts, and David Greenberger has been sending his... Uh, Ernest Noyes Brookings died a few years ago, but he wrote all these poems, I think, after he was 85 years of age, and he, and he, he gets all... Uh, David gets all these bands to put Ernest Noyes Brookings' poems to music, and he got you guys, too. That's great. That's right. Yeah, he was definitely... I don't, know if he, I don't know how old he was, but he was definitely old. He was in his late 80s, yeah. I think, yeah. He wrote, uh, he wrote prolifically for just a few years, and then died and left behind, like, notebooks full of these, these incredible poems. You know, um, the one that you're going to be on, the volume four, I guess it is, um, Hal Wilner is going to make his singing debut on that. I'm not kidding. Hal Wilner's doing a song on Ernest Noyes' Brooklyn poem, put to music. <laughs> Watch for that. Billy, did you play uh, an, a, like a horn instrument when you were growing up? No, I took I took piano lessons for a couple of years, but um, to to no lasting effect at all. There is a piano back there, just in case you want to do a little. Oh, I don't know. Well, Cecil Taylor later, just sort of. It didn't work out the first time I went, so I think we'll let it lie. Mary. Um, piano, yeah, I played piano as a kid, sang in the chorus. But didn't do anything on the album, huh? No, actually, didn't play any piano. But will. 
maybe. When the group expands their horizons. <laughs> and I know you're gearing up for your rock opera. Third or fourth album. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Johnny? Uh, I did piano when I was like five and six. And then I uh, saw Gene Krupa. So, uh, Gene Krupa <laughs> did it for you, huh? Yeah. Did you, did you see like a film of him? Yeah, I was in some, uh, I don't know, one of the films he did, Caravan or something. Yeah. I, I, I don't know what film that was. Where Stranded Hair is falling in front of his face. And then, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he was great, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Who, what other drummers did you like? Um, oh, Ringo, too, was a big influence. I like Charlie Watts a lot. Um, Ginger Baker? Uh, yeah, I mean, I never really... Carmen Apathy? Yeah, no, nah, not too much. I don't know. Who else? Gene Cooper. You like the guy Louis in uh, Johnny Burnett? And, uh, yeah, Johnny Burnett, rock and roll trio drummer. is pretty influential on in your style. I like a lot of that 50s rock and roll. Yeah, yeah, real fast drumming. Great stuff. We're coming upon 7 o'clock, and right now we're obligated to do a station ID. This is WFMU 91.1 FM in East Orange, New Jersey, on the campus of Uppsala College. Irwin here, hosting the live music faucet in Nick Hill's stead. Nick will be back next week. Nick is actually producing or executive producing the show tonight. And uh, don't forget, next week on the live music faucet, Gary Lucas, live from his living room. And the following week, Jeff Buckley. Now, but we did have a request from a member of our studio audience here. Were you planning on doing Take It Away? We weren't. We haven't rehearsed that one in a while. Do you have a record of it here? We have a record. Well, we did record it, but we don't have it with us. Yeah, I'm sorry. honored, though. <laughs> get some disappointed fans here. <laughs> sorry. Oh, well. Another time. <laughs> well, why don't you do what you were going to do? Okay. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Okay. Matter Rose on the live music closet.
Matter Rose performing live on the Music Faucet on WFMU. Look for Matter Rose Records and Antlers at better retail outlets throughout the metropolitan area. What were some of the titles, by the way, we've been hearing? We haven't been mentioning what songs uh, we've done. Uh, that was uh, that was called "I Want to Sleep in Your Arms," and it's by our favorite Stooge, Iggy Pop, and Jonathan Richmond. They wrote together. That would have been a real trick question if I said, who's your favorite stooge, and you said Iggy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the one before that was called Lay Down Low, and that's going to be on the album. Um, what else did we do just now? Engines. Engines. Engines before that. That was one Mary wrote that's on the album as well. It's a new one, right? Sway is a Rolling Stones cover that we're going to do as a single, but we don't know for who yet. Mm -hmm. We really had to get that one out. <laughs> Good while away. A uh, while away. That's uh, that's also on the new album. That's a uh, focal point of it, I think. Daydream. We did Daydream, another new song from the new album. That's another song. <laughs> so, listeners, don't run out and buy the album yet. You won't find it. In fact, if you walk into a record store and ask for the Matter Rose album, they'll look at you as if you're crazy. <laughs> it should be on March sixth. March sixth is the release date. Yeah. On Seed Records, which is owned by Atlantic, it's Atlantic's. Um, new uh, entering the new music sweepstakes, right? Mm -hmm. They're gonna. They Which is in turn owned by Beatrice, I think. Oh. <laughs> you were their first release. Um. No, they had an Australian band called Tumbleweed, um, whose record just came out, I think, last month. And there's going to be another one um, sometime around the same time that our release comes. Yeah, another one. Is they're doing a bunch of reissues. They're doing like a ten television personalities comp. Um, wow. I think they're going to get the pastels for their new album. Leatherface, it was heavy band from England. Um, Night Blooms, right. they're a pretty cool band. Um, so it's, it's shaping up to be a pretty nice label, I think. So I have this King Missile press kit here. Mm -hmm. I've gone through it, and I called adjectives that were from various King Missile reviews, and I crossed out King Missile and I put Matter Rose. The critics say Matter Rose is tight, goofy, sharp-edged. Ridiculous, uh, grungy psycho garage riffing, crazily cosmic, turbulent straight ahead rock, and gloomy noise. Hey. Okay? Look, if it works for King Missile, it can work for you guys. Same label, right? Aren't they on Atlantic? They're on Atlantic proper, but like Seed's not really considered part of Atlantic. Like they're, They stay out of each other's business so far anyway. Okay, there's a finite number of adjectives in the world that can be applied to music groups, so we may have to recycle things like uh, glo gloomy and... That's, that's what rock criticism is all about. <laughs> yeah, crazily, the crazily cosmic sounds of Matter Rose. Let's hear some more of them, shall we, on the live music faucet here on WFMU. This song's Matter another Rose. cover. Um, we 
It's been covered by many people, and if I had known that it had been covered by Aretha Franklin, we never would have done it. We found that out later, but we copped it off a Bobby Gentry record. So, here it is. Did you say that was going to be on the album? Uh, no, that's on our uh, that's on our first Atlantic single, uh, first Seed single. Uh, it's back with uh, "I Want to Sleep in Your Arms." Oh, that's really neat, neat version. Uh, P.J. Proby. Did you write the other one? P.J. Proby wrote that, I think. Oh, uh, really? Yeah. Well, it's registered with um, as under. What is it? Pat Vegas, Lolly Vegas, and one other person. I thought P.J. Proby. I don't know. Maybe he, he did a version of it. Too, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Bobby so Gentry. Rita and Bobby Gentry. Yeah, great. Nice version. Um, don't mind me, just play another song. Did you think? 
So, who is your favorite Stooge? I don't watch the three Stooges. I actually don't like any of them. <laughs> I like Shemp. <laughs> Johnny, Johnny says Shemp. 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 I don't know how you do it. I don't know who they are, man. <laughs> Nick said his favorite Stooge is Ashton. <laughs> Billy? Actually, actually Matt would have hair like Shemp. Billy, did you want to say something about the three Stooges? No, no, I didn't. Okay. Oh. Favorite film of 1992? Anyone? Uh, Shakes the Clown. <laughs> <laughs> I love that one too, man. Yeah. I can tell you the fav fav my favorite film that I saw in 1992. <laughs> but it was not a 1992 film. No, it wasn't. I don't know what year it was. It was The Thousand Eyes of Dr. Mabuse. <laughs> it's an old movie. Real old. I never go to the movies anymore. Because you're so busy with your band. I like the Birth of a Nation. It spends, it <laughs> it spends every cent. <laughs> Matter Rose is the band, and we've got time for a few more numbers here on the Live Music Floss. Just so for your own time check there, it's about 18 minutes after 7, so maybe two or three more songs. What's that, Rose? Maybe two or, two or three more songs you got? Yeah, we got two long ones. Two long ones, okay. Now, I'm out of stupid questions. I do want to talk about those antlers. I got something to say about that guy, uh, Buckley, no. Jeff Buckley. He's yeah. so good looking, all the ladies like him. You better ease up on those good looks, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whoa, fighting woods. Okay. A challenge, throwing down the gauntlet. Matter Rose on the live music faucet. Sit there by me. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> and thank you all. Thanks to Matter Rose. Mary Lorson, vocals and rhythm guitar. A brand new guitar, too, right, Mary? Yes, it's true. Was that like a tax write off or something? Yeah, maybe. End of the year, yeah. All well, the money's just rolling in. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Verderay on bass and backing vocal. Thanks, Matt. Johnny Kick back there on the drums. Thank you. And, and vocals. And Billy Cote on the lead guitar. Pyrotechnics. Thank you very much. We must do this again sometime. Matter Rose has a new single out on the Rockville label. It's uh, Matter Rose and Lights Go Down, and they had a single out on, this, on the Spontaneous Generation label, which is a 7-inch format-specific outlet. <coughs> and that was out a few months ago. And the album, March 6th, right. mm -hmm. um, on the Seed label. Left. And upcoming gigs at... Uh, January 28th at Knitting Factory. And Maxwell's when? Uh, we don't have one. Uh, no, but you did. Yet. Huh? For, with Velocity Girl. No, that's at Knitting Factory. Sorry. That's okay. Okay. This is, that's it. And the antlers, anybody who bought a pair of the Matter Rose antlers in the store, they're not authorized. They are, in fact, fraudulent. Return them. Get your money back immediately. There will be no Matter Rose antlers. Right? Correct. What it tell is there's only one D in the... Uh, <laughs> it's Mater Rose. That's what it says. Okay. That's how you'll know. <laughs> Erwin, thanks for having us here. Yeah, thanks for coming down. Everybody buy our records. Okay, bye-bye. Bring us down here. Uh, next week on the Live Music Faucet, Gary Lucas will be performing live from his living room. Don't miss that. That'll be at 6 o'clock. The following week, the 17th, Jeff Buckley will be performing live down here at WFMU. And the 24th, it's uh, an hour and a half of the best of the Nick Hill John Schnall transitional moment, I understand. And looking ahead, February 7th, the Neil Cassidy Memorial Broadcast, and that'll be live from Fez in New York. Some big names. One of them is over six syllables, and I can't pronounce it. So that'll be on February 7th, all coming up on the live music faucet. Coming up next on WFMU, we have the John Schnall Nick Hill transitional moment, followed by David Newgarden. First, though,
This is Nick Hill. And this is John Schnall. And you're listening to the Nick Hill, John Schnall, John Schnall Transitional, Transitional Moment. Moment. <laughs> honk, honk, honk. This has been the John Schnall Nick Hill. Transitional Moment. <laughs>